Good day to you. Today I want to do a COVID science and season's reason. That's how I'm going to name this talk. COVID science and season's reason. Uh, so we can see a great struggle is going on. Now, Henry Ford's study affirmed hydroxychloroquine. I have told you this before. Please check my COVID science uh, clip number 40. I'm Dr. Lalit Mendes. I live in Sri Lanka. And our WhatsApp number is plus 9477-4959214. Uh, uh, please send us a WhatsApp to get what you would like to get. Uh, so today, uh, the, about the COVID science, what I want to emphasize is the Henry, uh, the, the Henry Ford Detroit study conclusively proved that hydroxychloroquine is effective. So one comes to the theme, why then this cry for the vaccine and disqualifying hydroxychloroquine and this attempt to bring in remdesivir through the back door. Dr. Fauci did it, and the Oxford Recovery Trial also did it. So if you want citation and real academic websites that tackle the problem, you have to send me a WhatsApp number or go to my blog, Dr. Lalitmendi's blog, dot wordpress.com. Uh, so uh, here, here is a scenario. Uh, so the virus is made, and then they have been pushing now for some uh, 15 years, RNA viruses, and the vaccines are made on the basis the vaccine shows an antibody surge. Now it is conclusively proved by Oxford trial and Oxford research by Dr. Sarah Gilbert that even for coronavirus, the COVID-1, or for other RNA viruses, immunity is not produced. This is the important thing. Immunity is not produced by the antibody surge that you immediately get. It is short-lasting. Immunity is produced by the T-cell memory activation that is called innate memory activation. Two points at this. They have been selling the flu shot on every recent vaccine, uh, 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 pushing the theory that and there was an antibody surge. Now it is very well known. We always knew it. Now the whole world should know. It is not the immediate antibody surge that provides lasting immunity. It is the T cell memory activation, the innate immunity that begins to recruit macrophages and so on. Uh, you can read uh, more about it on my blog or send us a WhatsApp number. So the key point, uh, Dr. Sarah Gilbert of Jenner Institute of Vaccinology of Oxford is m making this vaccine, they say, uh, they are having antibody surge, spike, but that's not the thing. They are going for T cell response. So we want to ask all the vaccines that were marketed with the show front of temporary antibody spike was deception. That's not what produces vaccine immunity. So what did the other vaccines do? The good vaccines, the triple vaccine, the BCG vaccine, oral polio vaccine, all those vaccines worked very well. What did they do? They gave us T cell immunity. So in the countries that took the BCG vaccine, like our country, the COVID could not do the dastardly work it did. There's a good case for temperate zone countries to get a BCG vaccine for everybody. It will set up innate immunity, T cell immunity, T cell memory, and that will work for macrophage. That will activate, keep macrophages primed and ready with innate immunity. Second bad thing that the RNA vaccines do is they excite the adaptive immunity and put a show of antibodies. When that happens, what happens really, the problem is that you are destroying your immunity. When you have a show of antibody spike, it primes you for a cytokine storm. Uh, too much of an inflammatory attack is already going on in your body. And when COVID comes, it becomes a serious condition. Now, did you understand why COVID was so devastating in temperate countries? Okay, so that's a little contemporary thing about the COVID science. And also that Oxford Institutes and Cambridge Institutes are so funded by Big Pharma as well as China is at present quite a scandal in UK right now. Uh, already we know that uh, Harvard was funded by a $1 billion uh, 
a loan from China and a very senior Harvard professor was arrested uh, for connivance and for, and for that kind of activity. Now we are not happy to report this, but this is the time when academia is sinking and people criticize the politicians, you wonder who is robbing whom. So it has become a case of global brands with local hands invading the family and the econo economies of nations. So every right-thinking person should protect your family, protect your marriage, protect your children's future even from the digital screen and protect your nation's resources. You may be a professor, you may be a doctor, you may be a lawyer, you may be a young executive in the corporate, uh, you may in the judiciary, you may be thinking of the legislature. Principle is protect your nation's resources, that nation's resources serve the nation. Don't become a local hand that facilitates the robbing hand of the global brands. That's the logic. So today I want to get on to the season of, that's a bit of COVID science. I want to get on to the reason of the season. Uh, seven kinds of ways in which these things invade your life. First kind is called the trap of the bird catcher. Now who's the bird? You are the bird. You are flying, you may be 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, you are flying into your destiny, if I may use that word, you are flying into your full potential and you must start it at 24, therefore by 24 you must know your field, roughly speaking, marketeer, researcher, doctor, lawyer, entrepreneur, one who knows how to handle money. There are four kinds of money handlers, the creative kind who always make money to multiply, or the pragmatic kind and you, know, you can't multiply money. You have to work with money you have. So don't try to get into a job field which involves money multiplication. It may be a, it may be a, a gift of God that some are the creative kind in money. A new book is out about the four kinds of personalities, money personalities. The pragmatic ones who handle their money, the present money they have well, the creative ones that make money to multiply, therefore they are investors and they invest in work fields uh, so that others have jobs. So that's a different kind of person. But we are on this thing about the, the bird catcher. You are the bird and now you are 17 going on 18 and you know what not and coming to your 24 you know your field till 33 the age at which Jesus Christ was crucified okay till 33 you have your spurt of life by 33 you must achieve one third of your life and by 43 you achieve two thirds of your life what do you say to that and then 43 onwards, significance is the word that comes because you are now successful because your other one third of your life is about your children's future and then you are a senior in a work field at 43, you are not a pharaoh living for yourself, you have to become a father. So the problem of the world is now there are no fathers, there are mostly pharaohs. What are you going to be? Father or pharaoh? Uh, pardon me using the masculine gender, uh, mom or Mrs. Pharaoh, maybe Cleopatra or something like that, but that has a bad connotation, isn't it? So here it is, uh, 17 to 24, you get into your field, 24 to 33, you get your first third, uh, working with one company in one field, hopefully, 33 to 43, you get your two thirds, then 43, you go for significance of stewarding what God has given other people. So this is the Edenic mandate, God bless them to be fruitful. That is what you do from till 33, be fruitful, which means you'll have your child, your child may be five years old, uh, whatever, you know. Uh, so by 28 you are married, hopefully, your child is uh, uh, five years old, and then you are fruitful, then till 43 you multiply, and you fill two thirds. Then your other fulfilling for fulfillment, which is significance, comes from 43 to 63, 73, whatever. 
by stewarding the gift of others. So you are fruitful, you are multiplying, you fill your plot, so this is God's wisdom, and then you are helping others. Stewarding is helping others to fill their plot. There's a fifth part in it. You have take dominion over the invasions that come from global brands recruiting local hands to infiltrate nations. Medicine, legislature, in every field. So you have to be cognizant of that. We are in a time of buccaneers and pirates once again. That's it. We have to face up to it. But God will strengthen us to be wise if you would work with God in your field. So bird catcher. So when you are flying to your destiny, watch the things that can traps you don't know they are there. But there was an inward hook in you that got entangled with the external crook hook inside you and the crook from outside was dangling 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 it fixed you up did you understand that each of us will have a hook inside us predilection vulnerability predisposition and a crook is waiting from outside that is called the trap of the bird catcher bird catcher is the man who designed it may he may personally know you you may not know it it may be just a global phenomenon so the crook from outside crook from outside waiting for your predisposition inside please before 33 get to know this because by 33 your family you're responsible for your family your children's future and also you are you're at least a middle level manager if not a young director you know that now directors are young and if you if you dash it at 33 you lose quite a bit you lose one third of your life work but if you crash it at 43 you lose two thirds so passing 39 you know David had a Bathsheba watching over his balcony that's an old story so watch your 39, be very careful when you're going on 40, 41. That's the time inherited diseases come up. Diabetes, type two, hypertension, glaucoma, uh, the, the intrinsic asthma, uh, different things come up at that time. So watch your health also, watch your family line also, so that because of an internal hook that was always there, don't get entangled with the hooks that are ever the crooks that are ever multiplying from outside bird catcher the trap the trap so take care so what will the bird catcher do he will clip your wings you have heard the english expression you look at a person you can see there was brilliance he was set up for greatness but who clipped your wings have you asked that have you looked at yourself in the mirror we see a great man he was set up for greatness, but something came and clipped his wings. Let that not happen to you. God keep you safe. Secondly, the, the disease, the dangerous disease that can come at you. Now, it may be COVID. Uh, so why did COVID become dangerous? Because our immunity was compromised in the temperate countries because of the seasonal flu shots. So I explained this uh, some time back also, but I'll explain it again. When the flu, sh we must go for innate immunity and we, not, we must not go for adaptive immunity. Anyway, long and the short of it is the recent flu shots that people have been getting, thank God in Sri Lanka we don't get flu shots, they prime you up for antibody production and you're consuming your immune molecules, particularly a kind of immune molecule called the pro-resolving pro -resolving, uh, lipid molecules. Uh, they, they're the special pro-resolving lipid molecules, the P, uh, PSMs, uh, uh, they, they are the ones that are there to guard your immune reaction. Immune reaction should be so much and no more. So when you're set up for so much, you attack the virus and it must come down. Now, when you have got too many flu shots, the come down pathway has been consumed. So what happens when an infection comes, you and you kill yourself. That's what COVID virus did to many. And UK has still not implemented this. Spain, Italy, 
Sri Lanka, of course, in all, many other countries have implemented the high, uh, high hyperbaric oxygen regime, understanding this cytokine storm. But the thing to understand is when you have taken so many flu shots and statins and disturbed your immunity, not taken your omega-3 fatty acids, what has happened is your immune weak, such people died. If you are taking your vitamin D and your zinc and not taking unnecessary vaccines, you are safe from COVID. Of course, follow the public health measures your government has recommended. So I just gave you the, 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 how the trap, uh, how you are ruining your health along with the um, misinformation. In fact, the diabolical misinformation people get about their health. Uh, so that's a big topic, big subject. I'll stop there. Second one is the dangerous diseases. Why did the diseases become dangerous? I've explained to you. Also, you know, at, at the turn of 40, there are familial lines of inheritance that can bring disease. Let me now suggest a reason for the season. I have called it reason for the season. Uh, you may behave like your dad or inherit the family line diseases because of certain moral and spiritual factors. Now we know modern science does not recognize uh, spiritual factors and some of modern science does not even recognize moral factors. That's a fact. So we have walked into a culture of immorality and wondering why we are in trouble. Some parts of modern science does not recognize there are chromosomal differences between male and female. And they are giving uh, anti-puberty drugs to girls to become boys. They are diabolical. This is not medicine. This is a real uh, terrible distortion. And if you speak against it, you are, you are deemed a... Uh, you are deemed an uh, intolerant person. So it's a big problem, big problem. But John Hopkins uh, University, uh, the, pedi the former professor of pediatrics, has published on this. It's available on my uh, blog that sex is fixed, genetically fixed. You can't change it and you will have consequences when you do, not only emotionally, psychologically, but also physically and biologically. So this thing about uh, the the medically uh, created diseases or medically understood diseases. I'm, I'm sad to use this word medically created. Now let me give me my, my I'm Dr. Lars Mendes. My last substantive post in Sri Lanka was as head of department of pharmacology in a state medical faculty. Now at the time we were trained, we were also trained in pathology, immunology and a whole lot of logies so we understood medicine as a whole now the specialization is increasingly on a specific area so these are about the second uh, second danger you have is there's different kinds of diseases that are coming at you and the unnecessary drugs that are coming at you so my last research area was the creation of ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder I have presented on this, I have researched on this I will, uh, I will also, uh, I have published on this, I have presented my academic uh, seminar to uh, SLM, Sri Lanka Medical Association, last year, July 27th. It's available, I can mail it to you. The point I'm making is 70% uh, of ADHD is created by the digital screen. 30% of ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder that causes children not to learn. Uh, they can't sit in one place. They keep switching courses. Uh, they cause nuisance in class. Uh, you know, that is what uh, ADHD is. 70% is mediated by the digital screen. And 30% from mother's womb, they have been subjected to injurious influences that have shifted their brain into kinesthetic, acoustic, visual mode. That's a big area. So I'm dealing with the second point. I have seven points to deal with. I'm dealing with the second point at which it's a setup, man-made setup. 
uh, where diseases are defined now, syndromes are made and drugs are repurposed. Once upon a time, diseases were discovered and we uh, invented drugs. So all of 19th century's pioneering scientists were Christians and Sir Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. They were God-fearing people. They did their best for the masses, isn't it? Edward Jenner injected himself with the smallpox vaccine. Sir John Hunter injected himself with the syphilis uh, organism just to just to know the pathology of uh, of syphilis. They, they were self-sacrificing. That's how we got modern science. But now, uh, so much of uh, academia is getting together to make viruses and then make vaccines. Uh, this is a sad thing. In, in many other areas, this goes on. The third one I want to look at is the arrow that flies from far. So this passage says there's an arrow that flies from far, aimed at you. So it's a thing that strikes you to your per per personal predilection. That's what an arrow is. It gets you where you were most vulnerable. When did this happen to you last? When did this happen to you last? It, it was aimed at you perhaps by someone who knew you, it easiest thing is sexual temptation or gambling. What was the arrow that got you in your most vulnerable place? So watch the arrows that are made for your vulnerability, they attack you. Have, has that. So for instance, here is this, you are doing well with the investment, you have a company that employs 50 people, God graced you with that ability to give livelihood for others, then you suddenly you want to increase the capital. So you uh, go for a share, sell out and you, you, your capital now is just 50 million and now you just want to make it 500 million. Now you have a capital of 50 million, you want to make it 100 million, okay. But you want to make it 500 million, what is that? It was an arrow that got into your heart and some wise said, it's not enough you climb the mountain, jump. Got it? it, it the wise will say, well done, well done, great mountain. You have climbed the mountain, you have conquered this. Now, now that you are there at the pinnacle, jump. Or it will say, make it higher and jump. It's an ancient voice at the height of your success, that 33-year-old that success. So I'm addressing this to 17-year-olds, 24-year-olds, 33-year-olds, 43-year-olds. And for those who are beyond that, 43 to 53 to 63 to 73, you are increasing in significance by stewarding what God has given others. In it, you are fulfilling your boundary and you are fulfilling your destiny. That's a God thing. Now, I don't know whether all of you be believe God or not. Uh, pardon me for using the God context when it comes to destiny, particularly when it comes to the, that one third, that critical one third, I have to stake the claim only God can attend on it. Then what, and also what about that brilliant man you are, the hook inside you, who will remove it for you? It may be pride, it may be arrogance, it may be just you don't consider others who helped you upwards, you know. The upward climb is full of fanfare, full of psychophones, but the downward plunge is very lonely, isn't it? So take care that you go up carefully with friends, and at the summit, don't forsake them. Old proverb says, don't forsake your father's friends. At least don't forsake the friends who helped you, including your spouse, who helped you get there, okay? So that's a little bit about this danger that comes at the summit. So that's the fourth one, noonday destruction. You are at your present summit, everything is so good, everything is noonday, brightness, what may cause the catastrophic come down in noonday brightness? This can happen to a person, this can happen to a family, this can happen to a nation like Sri Lanka. 1948, our rupee was equal to the US dollar and 2.3, 2.5 rupees were the British pound. Can you imagine? Our rupee in 1948, that was so till about 1950, 
was equal equivalent to the American dollar. Noonday brightness we were in. The best nation in Asia, richer than any nation in Africa, richer than any nation in uh, South America, and in 1948, we were richer than most nations in Europe. We were devastated by the war, correct? Yes, what happened to us? From noonday destruction, what a calamity. Can we get there? Yes, we can. I just did a little clip before this on that. How do we get there? If you want it, you have to send me a WhatsApp to plus 9477, uh, 4959214. Just call that clip storehouse. That clip will be named storehouse. There's a storehouse waiting to download on you, on your work field, on your family line, on your income. But you have to get into the dynamics of the other storehouse because you know the one you see, but there is another one that you don't see. So let me recap. One, the, the snare, the trap of the bird catcher. Two, dangerous diseases. Three, your, the arrow that comes at you, aimed at you. Four, the noonday so bright, but then comes a, a unforeseen disaster which was in the making. The slide down, take care of it. What is that character trait that can pull you down? So keep your summit carefully and don't go for the high flight. It's gradual. God's blessing is gradual. He has a good gift for you and he wants to take it to completion. It is, he's the father of light in whom there is no shadow of shifting. Every good and complete gift. So from good to complete. 17 years, 24 years, 33 years, 43 years, and beyond. Yes, we, I do an empathic learning consultation on Fridays. You can come with your family, you can come with your young son and young daughter, whatever their age is. Uh, you can uh, uh, send a WhatsApp request for that. We give you an appointment. It is free of charge. Yes. I want to introduce to you some books. This is for children. Uh, let the children come to me. These also children are heritage and there's one for dad and mom to read together with your children, uh, parenting in a digital age. So there are many, many, uh, many books on those lines in the lines I'm speaking now. Uh, so the fifth one is uh, a little difficult to understand. It's called uh, Diseases That Comes From Darkness. It's a difficult subject. I want to recommend a book for that. I have called it Seven, um, seven uh, Pitfalls and Seven Promotions. Uh, if you want that, you can send a WhatsApp to me. Uh, there are diseases doctors don't understand. Uh, they come from another realm. You don't have to agree with me. I'm suggesting that to you. I have a series on that. If you want an uh, email on that, you'll have to send me your email number. So here is the book I mentioned, Parenting Heart and Brain in a Digital Age. And this is Mom, Dad, Me and Mistake Management. I, I want to freeze that topic there. Uh, this is that book on that topic, uh, Redeemed from Seven Pitfalls and Going into Seven Promotions. Yes, uh, here is the book. So that's the fifth one. I didn't do too much of it. Uh, sixth one is a terror by night. What is a night? A dark season in a family's life. Many things go wrong. Can't explain. Have you had a season like that? Or in a company? It are doing so good. A dark season. Terror by night. What is night? Inexplicable set of circumstances. Uh, unnatural. How did it happen? How did I get into this dark spot? How do I come out of it? There are ways. Uh, so you may have heard the thing called the Lord's Prayer. It said, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Uh, forgive us our trespasses as you forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. There is a realm like that, a dark realm. Who plans evil? There seems to be a planner of evil. Uh, why did you get caught to it? 
Maybe someone hurled some dark thing at you. Maybe you dabbled in darkness. You dabbled in a realm that it might have been through hatred, it might have been through bitterness, your mind got dark. Or it may be a day you drunk yourself out of your mind. Usually in the life of a person who takes alcohol, there is a day, this is a medical phenomenon, clinical phenomenon, there is a day he will say, Doctor, that day I, I don't know how I went home. I hope you didn't have a day like that. On a day like that, a lot of changes come to young people. Girls wake up not knowing they have been raped or they discover that. You understand that? Yeah. That is a dark day. If a thing like that has happened in your life, you can tell the Good Shepherd. Or you can ask for an appointment. We will keep things confidential. All what we do is free other than the book prices you have to pay. The seventh one is called uh, a massive destruction that comes to people. It involves natural phenomena, terrorist phenomena. It's called uh, many getting involved in a destruction. Uh, uh, it, it, I don't want to go into that topic. I want to stop here now. The seven things I mentioned, the trap of the fowler, the, the trap that catches your life. Uh, second one, arrow that comes at you. Third one, dangerous diseases. Uh, fourth one, the uh, terrors that come from a dark realm. Uh, uh, fifth one, the, 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 the a uh, disease that has no medical e explanation. Sixth one, when you are so good, doing so well, in the brightness of noonday, some destruction comes to your business or family line. Last one, when many people get involved in a devastating problem, a thousand at a time, a whole village, whole township, whole business line, suffering, uh, run down, ruin, you have a promise. God wants to crown you with loving kindness and tender mercy. No ruin will work in your life. You know what ruin is? You can't stop it. You can't help it. It's running down. So I'll stop there. Uh, we'll meet again in a noonday broadcast. If you want anything, please send, up a, send us a WhatsApp. Thank you for joining.